Hello. We have been trying to reach you. This call is an officially final notice from IRS Internal Revenue Service. The reason for this call is to inform you that IRS is filing a lawsuit against you. To get more information about this case file, please call immediately on our department number 206-238-1204. I repeat 206-238-1204. Thank you. Hello, you reach IRS. How may I help you? I just received a call that I... there is some sort of a lawsuit going on. Is that same number on which you received the phone call and uh, voicemail? I, I'm sorry, is what? You got uh, you got your voicemail and uh, phone call. Is that same number on which we are talking? Yes. Yeah, I'm looking for Lee Fuller. Isn't you? That's me. Okay, I want to write down some information. Okay. My name is Officer Mike Jason. I'm sorry, Mike what? Mike Jason, not a Jackson. Jason, J A S O N. Okay. Okay. Uh, my batch ID number is B K four nine nine one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the reason is the reason is we call you to collect your attorney information. There are some legal allegations and the lawsuit is being filed against you by IRS. Are you aware about this situation? No. What what allegations? Yeah, I'll explain you. While I'm giving information, do not interrupt me, okay? But before but before I proceed further, I would like to notify you that the lines of which we are talking are being recorded and monitored by IRS as well as a local authority. So, I will just uh, go ahead and read out the legal affidavit against your name as per the documents we conducted an audit on your tax file for the year 2010 to 2014 and we found that uh, there is a miscalculation error and the taxes that you filed does not match the tax record that we have a strong evidence against you. Do you know about this? No. Okay. So according to, so according to section 101, that amount is still outstanding on your name, uh, that you are not paid for that reason. IRS uh, has filed a lawsuit against you now at this point. The IRS has decided that doing your state ID, your driving license will be cancelled and everything under your name, your property, your known bank account, everything will be seized. Under section 63314, you will also face a federal imprisonment for up to five years and a penalty up to six to sixty to eighty thousand dollars. Now the total balance outstanding on your name is three thousand five hundred thousand dollars, which includes your pending taxes, your legal charges and your plate fees. Now, did you do this intentionally or was it by mistake? I, I don't even know exactly what I've done. So no, yeah. I, did, I did not. Now do I don't. Think... Can you tell me your address? All right. 
uh, now I don't think we can do anything about uh, because an arrest warrant is or uh, arrest warrant is already been issued on your name, and uh, we are already moving uh, forward with the lawsuit. So I just need to take your statement uh, that what are your uh, what are your bad intentions? Do you want to do you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse? without going illegally or do you want to fight this case legally in the court? Well, that, that depends. What are you asking me to do? Okay, okay, I'll repeat. So I need to take your statement that what what are your fair intentions? Do you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse without going illegally? Or do you want to fight this case legally in the court? Once you fight this case in legally, legal in the court, uh, if you failed in in court, that you have to pay uh, sixty to eighty thousand dollars and imprisonment up to five years and more than. Okay. So now at this moment, I'll just want to. Clarify, do you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse or you want to go fight this uh, case legally? Well, sure, I'd like to resolve it. How do we resolve it? Okay, we give a further information. Okay. Now, at this moment of a time, IRS has stopped providing a resolvement option to everybody. Just because your past records with IRS is clean with no certain criminal background, so this option is available for you because you are the genuinely taxpayer. That's why we giving a chance to prove yourself. Getting you what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. If you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse, then you need to agree certain certain term and conditions of IRS so that I can help you further resolving this matter outside the court. Okay. okay. If I given a chance, if I given a chance, would you be able to pay this three thousand five hundred dollar and resolve this today itself? Once you disconnect this call, after we will never give another chance. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I suppose I could. Sure. Yeah. Just say you you will be able to pay this uh, amount to cancellation your case files today itself only. Okay. Or you want to fight this uh, fight this case in courthouse? Well, I would rather not fight it if I can avoid that. Courthouse, courthouse means you want to uh, fight this case in courthouse, right? No, I'm saying I would rather not fight it if I don't have to. Okay, so what do you want to do now? Well, how do just we resolve it? What are, you, what are you asking me to do to resolve it today? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. cancellation your case file. That's why I'm asking. That amount. There is your pending taxes and the legal charges and your late fees. Okay, so what what do you want me to do? How do I do that? Okay, uh, if you if you want to, can still talk to my supervisor to resolve this do resolve this case files and see if something can be worked out or not. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, just hold on. Let me transfer this call in my senior supervisor. Hello. Yeah. Just uh, hold on a second, sir. Uh, let me transfer this call in my senior supervisor to resolve this case file. Okay. Okay? Sure. Just hold on. And then I need to call it transfer to the senior restitution officer, Sean Taylor. I'm speaking with Lee Fuller, correct? Correct. Yeah, Lee, I believe the officer must have told you for what reason the lawsuit has been filed against you through a department, correct? 
Yes. Yeah, the thing is that Lee, the attorney, James O'Connor, the in charge of the case, he checked your documents, he checked your past record, okay? And Lee, he could not found any criminal record against you, okay? That is why he gave you one last option to resolve this matter outside the court. The option has been given to you by the attorney, James O'Connor, based on your clean past record, okay? Yes, I told you, as we are from IRS, we do not accept any payment over the phone. That is not our job, okay? The option given to you by the attorney, James O'Connor, is you have to take care of your defaulted tax amount charge. That is $3,500 by yourself in the local tax office in your area within two hours. What I need to know in this recorded line, I just need a clear answer. Will you be able to do that? Yes or no? That's it. Because you're not doing any favor on me. The chance has been given to you, not to me. The lawsuit has been filed against you, not against me. So I just need a clear answer. Will you be able to do that? Yes or no? That's it. Sure. Yeah, if it will resolve it. See, that, see, let me tell you, Lee, it's very easy to say yes, okay? But you know what? It's not that much easy because I told you, this chance has been given to you by the attorney, James O'Connor, based on your clean past record, not by the federal government. The federal government is looking at the bigger picture. Once you're taken in the federal courthouse, you have to pay the penalty charge of $85,000 for cheating the government and also your defaulted tax amount charge, that is, $3,500, and there will be a lien on your assets, whatever you have, house, car, gold and silver accounts, or investment funds, if any. But the attorney is giving you one last chance to prove yourself innocent, okay? So there are certain conditions, certain protocols which you need to follow, Lee. I'll let you know what are the conditions, what are the protocols. Just listen to me very carefully, and then you decide what exactly you want to do, okay? Whether you want to resolve this matter, or whether you want to fight with your department. Just listen sure. to the condition very carefully. You ready, Lee? I'll let okay. you know what are the conditions. Number one, till the time this issue is not yet. Number one, till the time this issue is not resolved, you need to be on the line with me itself because if in case by... Can you hear me? Yes. Number one, till the time this issue is not resolved, you need to... Yeah, number one, till the time this issue is not resolved, you need to be on the line with me itself because if in case by any means the line get disconnected, why your voice is breaking? Hello? I, I'm not speaking. I'm just listening to you. There's some background noise, okay? I don't know. There might be some technical problem in the line. Yeah, yeah, so let me there's go there, okay? Me, so. Condition? I don't know. Number one, till the time this issue is not resolved, you need to be on the line with me itself because if in case by any means the line gets disconnected, the option to resolve this matter outside the court will be closed and you will be considered as a convict that you are trying to run away. So you need to be on the line till the time you reach the local tax office and take care of your total tax amount charge because I told you, these lines have been recorded and monitored by the IRS and the local authorities. Once you do what you're saying, it will prove that it was an innocent mistake. You did not do it intentionally. And the attorney is going to put this recording in your favor in the federal courthouse, which will prove that it was an innocent mistake because you did what you said in this recorded line, okay? So keep one thing in mind. Every protocol has a reason to prove yourself innocent. This is the first condition. You need to be on the line while you do this, okay? Okay. Got it? Number two, see, as the time limit has been provided to you is two hours. This time you do not have to make a payment through a credit card or through a check because if you make a payment through a credit card or through a check, it takes 24 hours to reflect under your name. And the time limit has been provided to you is two hours. So this time you have to make a payment through EFTPS. It means Electronic Federal Tax Payment System. For that, you need to have a cash or a debit card. Once you have that, I'll guide you with the nearest federal approved store. You have to go there. You need to get Electronic Federal Tax Payment Card. You know, you don't need to write it down. I'll guide you which card you have to look for. I will be on the line, okay? Once you have that, I'll guide you with the nearest tax office where your paperwork will be faxed by the attorney, James O'Connor. You have to go there. You have to submit the cards over there. Okay. Office that you have taken care of this much in of your bad taxes. You'll get the receipts of your transaction, and you will also get a no due obligation certificate. It means there are no taxes due under your name. And you will also get a paperwork in which it will be mentioned that the lawsuit and arrest warrant which was filed against you through our department has been cancelled because you did what you said in this recorded line. And the most important thing, 
in spite of me making you understand channel the phone what went wrong, once you reach there, we'll arrange a counseling session for you then and there. The officer will show you the edit of your tax filing, which we did, and he's going Hello? 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 Yeah, what happened? Disconnected? Uh, yeah, you were talking, and I then all of a sudden I couldn't hear you anymore, and so I kept saying hello, and you were not there. Okay, what I was saying, and we will also arrange a counseling session for you, okay? And the officer is going to show you an audit of your tax filing, which we did from 2010 to 14, and he's going to make you understand what went wrong while filing your tax, okay? And you will also get a paperwork, in which it will be mentioned that the lawsuit and arrest warrant which was filed against you through our department, it has been cancelled because you did what you said in this report line, okay? All right? Okay. And the most important thing, in spite of me making you understand over the phone what went wrong, once you reach there, we'll arrange a counseling session for you then and there. The officer will show you the audit of your tax filing, which we did from 2010 to 14, and they're going to make you understand what went wrong while filing your tax. We'll arrange a counseling session for you then and there. All right, Lee? Okay. But, yeah, now the third and the last condition. You ready for the last one? Sure. See, as a chance has been given to you, by the attorney James O'Connor. The attorney James O'Connor is keeping hold on your file. It means we are not marking a lien on your assets, including your house and your car. And none of your bank accounts will be frozen till two hours. Keeping your reputation and dignity in mind, we are not informing this to your employers, to your creditors, and to the government bodies that you are affiliated with that there are four criminal allegations against you so that your future benefits like your wages, income, pensions should not get hampered. Keeping that in mind, the attorney is not disclosing in this case in public, is not informing this to any third government authority so that they come and take an action against you. He's allowing you to go to the tax office and get your arrest warrant cancer and prove yourself innocent. So even you need to follow the same thing. Till the time you do not reach the tax office, till the time your arrest warrant has not been cancelled. Even you cannot disclose this to any third person that there are four criminal allegations against you, Lee. Because I told you this chance has been given to you by the attorney, James O'Connor, based on your clean past record, not by the federal government. I'm just making you aware because all the banks that all the federal approved store is regulated by the federal government, and the federal government has already issued a circular to all the banks and to all the federal approved store that if any person comes to you regarding their bad taxes, they need to alert the authority, and you will be detained then and there. And it has been mentioned in the mail over here by the attorney, James O'Connor. If you violate any of the condition, any of the protocol, this option is closed for you, and you will be detained there and there with additional charges. So if you're ready to follow the condition, we can go ahead and resolve this matter for you, or else you have one more option. You can fight with our department. We are happy with that also. So you tell me what exactly you want to do. You want to resolve this matter by following the condition, or you want to fight with our department, Lewis? No, of course. I mean, Lee. Want to, I, of course I'd want to resolve it. But I believe you understood the condition very well, right? Number one, you need to be on the line because this recording will be taken under your favor. Number two, you need to have a cash or a debit card. Then I'll guide you which federal approved store you have to go and from there which tax office you have to go and submit those cards and get your arrest warrant canceled and receive your paperwork from there and prove yourself innocent, okay? Number three, the attorney is not disclosing this case in public is not informing this to any third government authority so that they come and take an action against you. He's allowing you to go to the tax office and get your arrest warrant cancelled and prove yourself innocent. Okay. So even you need to follow the same thing. Till the time you don't reach the tax office, till the time your arrest warrant has not been cancelled, even you cannot disclose this to any third person that there are four criminal allegations against you. Lewis. Because the way you are following the condition, the same way I'm doing that, and these are the conditions laid down by the attorney, James O'Connor, the in charge of your case, all right? Okay. So, according to the... Did you hear me what I said? Yeah. So, according to the first condition, you need to be on the line, okay? So, right now, I'm talking to you on your cell phone, or is this your landline number? My cell phone. Okay, and I'm just assuming uh, three thousand five hundred dollars. You have in your debit card or you have cash? Yeah, I would have to use a debit card. No, no, I don't need a debit card number. I'm just asking you, okay, so that I can guide you what exactly you need to do. Okay? No, I'm saying I would have to use my debit card. Okay, so 
can you give me a second? And just verify the zip code where you are right now because Hello? Hello? You are getting disconnected? Yeah, I don't know what happened. It just went dead. Okay, so what I was saying, just verify the zip code where you are right now because that information I will forward to the legal department and they will let me know which is the nearest federal approved store. Uh, 92614. 92614? Mm -hmm. Give me a second, okay? So that's your current location, right? Where you are right now, correct? Correct. Okay, are you at work? Or at you at work? Yes. Okay. Uh, I got the information because I believe when you will leave your workplace, I'm sure your boss is going to ask you, right, for what reason you want to leave, just to make sure you don't follow the condition, just to make sure you follow the condition, okay? What are you going to tell your boss? I'm just making you aware. Well, I, I don't need to really worry about it right now. That's fine. So once you reach in your car, just let me know. I believe till that time I will get the information, okay? With the legal department, which is the nearest federal approved store, okay? So once you reach in your car, just let me know, okay? Uh, okay. It'll take me a few minutes to do that. Do you want me to call you back, or can you call me back, or? How, how much time it's going to take, man? Because, see, you need to be on the line. Uh, the line will about keep on consisting. Five minutes, maybe. It will put most. negative mark. I'm holding the line, okay? Because, see, if the line will keep on disconnecting, that will put a negative mark in this recording, according to the first condition, you know, right? This recording okay, is going to so be taken you in the office. Right? Is that what you want to do? Yes, I'll hold the line, okay? Once you're done with that, just come back and let me know once you reach in your car, okay? And make sure you follow the condition, okay? Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, well, let me see if I can close this out. Okay, hold on just one second. Hold on. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sorry? Yeah, hang on one second. Okay. Have to... Have to... Okay, hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah, okay. Um, heading to my car. Okay. Just carry on. Okay? That's all right. I'll be, yeah, I'll be no old in line. Just carry on. Are you there? Hello? Hello, I'm there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so where am I going? Yeah. Hello. Where am I supposed to go to? Just hold on, let me search in, okay? Just hold on. Just hold on, sir. I'll just saying. Okay. Just hold for a moment. I'll, I'll just give you information. All right. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, just write down. Where are you now? Uh, I just left my work here in uh, Irvine. Okay, no problem. So you can just write down the address, okay? It's uh, 17605 Harvard Avenue. Okay. 17605 Harvard? Yes, Harvard Avenue. Irvine, California, 92614, okay? Uh, okay. And the name of the federal approved store is Ralph. Are you familiar with that store, Ralph? Ralph's the grocery store? That's right. That is the federal approved store, okay? Okay. I'm going to be meeting the IRS there or the, the, uh, your. your yeah, it's pretty right. Once you, I'll let you know what I said. Once you have the card or cash, I'll let you know which store you have to go, which card you have to look for, okay? Once you have the card, I'll let you know which tax office. I'll forward this information to the legal department. They will let me know which tax office you have to go and submit those cards, okay? And get your arrest warrant canceled, all right? You're making a payment through EFTPS, all right?
So what am I getting at the Ralph store? I'm just waiting for that instruction only, okay? Till that time, you can drive towards that location which I provided you, right? Ralph, all right? Okay. Yeah, you can move now. Well, I'm in Once you car. reach the parking lot, of, so that's what I'm saying. I gave you the address, right? Once you reach the parking lot of, lot of Ralph, just be in your car and let me know so that I can guide you what needs to be done as these are federal approved store, okay? So I need to make you aware, all right? Okay, so am I meeting somebody there, or am I? Am I? You're gonna get a card, okay? You need to get a card, okay? I'll let you know which card. I'm just waiting for that information, okay? Which card you need to get it for the making the payment of this three five zero zero. Once you have that card, I'll guide you which tax office you have to go and submit it, okay? And get your restaurant canceled. You will meet someone in the tax office, okay? Not in the federal approved store, okay? You're going okay. there to get EFTPS card, okay? I Got made it. you understand in the beginning, right? Okay. So then once I get the card, you can, you're going to tell you're going to tell me where to go to meet with somebody. That's right. See, I will forward this information to the legal department. They will let me know, okay, which is the nearest federal approved store, okay? I mean, I mean federal. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Once you have the card, I will forward this information to the legal department. They will let me know which is the nearest tax office, okay, in that area, right? I'll forward this information to them that you have the card and they will me. And I'm just waiting for that instruction only. Which card you need to look for, okay? Once I get the update, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, well, I'm I'm about maybe a quarter of a mile away from that store, so. That's fine. Once you reach the parking lot, just let me know. I'll guide you, okay? I'm just waiting. I'll be, I believe I'll get the update, okay? Within one minute, all right? One or two minutes. Okay. And I believe you have your case number. Uh, I don't have my case number. Okay, that's fine. Just give me a second, okay? Because, see, what we are trying to do is, hold on for a second. Uh, we are trying to, you know, the minimum, okay? If the attorney, James O'Connor, is speaking with the legal department, okay? What he's making them understand, if they can accept your payment of only $2,250, the remaining amount, we can make a payment plan for you, okay? So he's working on that only, okay? To give you a monthly payment plan, all right? If they accept the monthly payment plan procedure, then it will be good for you. Okay? You can make a monthly payment plan for each month, okay? By making a good faith payment of two two five zero, right? By getting a card of two two five zero. So he's having a walk, okay? Okay, well I'm I'm pulling into the parking lot right now. Just over the line. Hello? Yep. Yes, I got the information. So, see, the minimum payment is $2,250, okay? And the remaining amount out of will make a monthly payment plan for you, okay? Once you pop, just be in your car and let me know, okay? So that I can tell you what you have to look for. I'll get the date in 30 seconds, okay? Okay, well, I, I don't know how good my cell service is in here because it's kind of bad in this area. So, can you tell me what I need to get and I'll just get it? Okay. Now, see, the card which you need to look for is the iTunes gift card, all right? You need to get iTunes gift card, five iTunes gift card for $500, okay? And you need to do 450 in each, okay? The maximum amount on the card will be 500 but you need to do 450 in each, okay? So in total, it's going to be $2,250, okay? As I mentioned, the minimum payment, okay? The remaining amount will make a monthly payment plan for you. And as I said, can you please? See, yeah. there are different types of iTunes gift card, which is used for different purpose, okay? But the card which you need to look for, at the back side, there will be a silver-colored scratch-off, okay? If you see that, that's the right one, okay? So what you need to do, you just need to go inside. You need to get five iTunes gift card, and the amount, the maximum you can do is 500 but you need to do 450 in each, okay? 450 in each card, okay? Buy iTunes gift card, but there should be a scratch off at the back. And as I told you, all the banks and all the federal approved store is regulated by the federal government. And the federal government has already issued a circularly to all the banks and to all the federal approved store that if any person comes to you regarding their back taxes, they need to alert the authority and you will be detained then and there. So I'm just making you aware, okay? When you go inside the store to get buy iTunes gift card, and you, if you do five, 415 each, if, they, in, if in case if they ask you, for what reason you're getting those cards? They might ask you or they might not, okay? As these are federal approved store. What are you going to tell them? I mean, to the cashier, just to make sure. 
you don't create a problem for yourself. Well, I, 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 I don't know. What, what should I tell them? Should I just tell them? So you need to be... Sorry? Why, what, should I just tell them that, that I'm giving, giving these as gifts maybe to my kids or something? Yeah, be confident, okay? You need to be confident, all right? So just put your phone on speaker. Just move inside. You don't need to talk to me inside the store. Once you're done with that, come back in your car and let me know, okay? Make sure you need to get only five, okay? Five yeah, iTunes I, gift card. The maximum, the maximum limit you can do is 500, but you need to do 415 each, okay? And make sure at the back side there should be a scratch off, okay? If you see that, that's the right one, okay? Once you're done with that, come back in your car and let me know. I'll pass this information to the legal department. They will let me know which office you have to go and submit those cards, okay? So, um, okay, well, I, I don't know how well my cell is going to work in there because it doesn't work very well in this area. So if I go inside, I might lose you, and I, I don't want to end up in trouble because of that. Put your phone on speaker and move inside, okay? It's not a trouble, all right? You're not going to lose the signal, okay? If the line gets disconnected, you can call me back, all right? Or, I, or I'm going to call you back, okay? I, I think I'm. I think I'm about to lose the signal because we've been talking now for what twenty something minutes, and uh, not only is my battery not charged very well, that I think that there's probably some people that are really fucking stupid and will believe this. Bullshit. Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. 